Layering. Let's talk about proper layering techniques for cold weather. A lot of people think layering means throwing on an extra undershirt or putting a jacket on over a sweatshirt. And while they're not technically wrong, they're also gonna be the ones freezing about five minutes into the day. So it all starts with your base layer. On your warmer winter days, you'll want something to not only absorb, but also expel sweat. And this is where a lot of people go wrong. Cotton, which most t-shirts are made of, is a horrendous base layer material, especially when you're doing a lot of manual labor. In this weather, you're not going to want anything too warm that'll make you sweat even more. At the entry level are the Milwaukee traditional work skin shirts or even their newer hybrid shirts, which feature moisture wicking technology at a hell of a price. They're lightweight, made of breathable material, and most importantly, don't restrict motion while you're on the job. Ergodyne has a great solution too with a cool name, Inferno. On top of your base layer is going to be your mid layer. In this weather, you should plan on wearing something thicker, but nothing as thick as a parka. This could be your regular non-heated Milwaukee hoodies or maybe something like the block lotter knitted jacket. This could even be a vest for increased mobility. Your mid layer is really where the warmth will be at. You'll want something that can reflect your body heat at you without absorbing all the sweat that's expelled from your base layer. Ideally, look for something that's at least cotton polyester blend. You also wanna have a nice pair of pants to protect your nether regions from the cold as well. At this point in the season, you won't typically need a base layer for your pants, but it might be nice if you feel the need. Milwaukee's launched a line of new work pants this year because of course they did. And Helly Hansen's got a new line of work pants called the Manchester that's perfect for this type of weather. It's made of a polyester blend, which is perfect for our moisture wicking purposes. And there is also reflective components built into the pants themselves for working after dark. Okay, we need to take a quick second to talk about socks. There are a lot of urban legends and old wives tales out there about how to properly lay your socks and make sure your feet stay warm during the winter. And a lot of people will tell you one works much better than the other. Truth is, we've had success with a lot of different layering options. Some people like to take a thinner sock and layer a thicker wool or cabin sock over top of it. Others like to bring a change of socks for halfway through the day to make sure they don't sweat through a single pair. Look, whatever works for you, works for you. At the end of the day, as long as you're not losing digits to frostbite, we'll call that a win. We should also talk about these boots. A good boot is one of the most important pieces you can have in your winter workwear wardrobe. What you see here is only a small selection of the boots we got to offer. Keen, Michelin, Georgia, Rocky, and Steel Blue brand boots are available in a variety of styles on our website. We may not have the largest selection of boots in the world, but we're very focused on trade professionals and features needed on the job site. Obviously, you'll want a pair of gloves, but bear in mind that in warmer winter weather, you may want to focus more on safety and dexterity than warmth. Cut protection and a winter dipped glove like these Milwaukee ones here might be a good compromise that will keep you mobile while also retaining some body warmth in your hands. All right, let's get into the colder winter days. It's starting to get pretty cold now, and there's definitely going to be some snow if, you know, you live somewhere that gets snow. You'll wanna stick with the solid base layer. And in this weather, you wanna focus more on warmth and expelling sweat. For this reason, we'd recommend something made from wool or another material that's able to retain heat while not being overly bulky under your layers. Helly Hansen has some great options made of merino wool, which is perfect for what we're looking for in this weather. Also on your colder days, vests are a good call for your mid layer. If you have a thicker jacket or want more movement in your arms and a heated jacket or vest from Milwaukee would be a great way to generate and retain heat while you're out on the job site or even shoveling your driveway. The outer layer in this weather is where you'll want your most protection against the elements. A nylon jacket with some sort of warm inner lining to retain heat while resisting water on the outside would be a great call. Something like Helly Hansen's waterproof shell jacket. I again definitely need to mention layering up your pants with long johns or other base layer. You'll of course want some warm socks, using whichever trick typically works for you to keep your feet warm during the day. A lot of people will tell you that tying your boots up as tight as you possibly can is the best course of action to retain heat in your feet. But in reality, the opposite is true. You wanna retain blood flow to your feet during the day. And the tighter you tie your laces, the more restricted your blood vessels will become. The more restricted they are, the less blood flow gets to your feet. The colder your feet get, then all of a sudden you're walking on stumps. Keep your laces loose and make sure your socks are warm and dry and you won't have any trouble. Gloves are crucial in this weather and you'll wanna make sure that you have a good pair on hand. Milwaukee and Ergodyne have both got a couple of options for us when it comes to gloves. And depending on how cold it gets during the day, well or night if you're a graveyard shifter, you may also wanna pick up a pair of Klein's heated glove liners to keep your hands toasty. Okay, we're in the worst part of the winter now, the dead of January and end of February. 
when the weather is as miserable as everyone else in the peak of seasonal depression. It's cold as the lowest circle of hell out there. The wind is tearing and biting like a pack of ravenous beasts, and the snow isn't fun anymore. No one wants to be outside. Even walking the dog feels like you're braving the Arctic tundra. And at this point, we're all just ready for spring. This leads us to the most amount of layers we should be wearing in the year. Your base layer should obviously still be warm, and it may surprise you to learn that the warmest base layer isn't synthetic or even wool but rather silk. Your mid layer in these single digit temperatures should be made of fleece if possible. Blockliner's got a two-fisted storm fleece jacket that we've got up on the website that might be a good choice. It's got a wind and waterproof membrane built into it to protect you from the worst of it. And the high collar and full zip provide an extra layer of protection for your neck. A good vest could be beneficial here, or you could just stick with your heated gear if you got some handy. Actually, at this point, you may wanna seek out some heated gear if you haven't gotten your hands on any yet since it'll not only generate its own warmth, but also help to retain the natural warmth your body produces. Everything in this weather is all about retaining as much body heat as you possibly can. Your outer layer should be as warm as possible. Get a parka if one is available to you. Bundle yourself up as much as you can because this weather is no joke. We don't have many parka options here at Ohio Power Tool and there's actually a very specific reason for that. The length of coats like that get in the way with quick access to your tool belts or your fall protection harness. If you're in an industry that deals a lot with that sort of thing, you might want to look into an alternative, like a set of coveralls to layer over top of all your under layers. Remember, you want as much freedom of motion as you can get while still retaining warmth. So don't get anything that'll restrict you too terribly. Here at OPT, Heli Hansen is going to be the go-to for outer layers for extreme weather. They've got a ton of options that help protect in a variety of environments and temperatures. They're perfect for layering on. You'll definitely want a good pair of boots if you're out working in this weather. And at this point, you might want to look more into a pair of winter work boots rather than the average boot. Obviously, you'll want some gloves as well. And that heated glove liner we talked about earlier is a great thing to have on hand in this weather. Slip it on over your hand, put your gloves on over top of that, and the heat should spread up from your wrist and palm into your fingers, at least better than it would naturally. Head protection in this weather is crucial. Pick yourself up a good beanie to throw on, one that covers your ears. Milwaukee's got a great line of beanies and knit hats that would do the trick. And Heli Hansen has a beanie made from their merino wool if you're looking for that added comfort. If you're working with hard hats and find that it doesn't fit properly over your hat, Ergodyne has a sort of half cap in their Inferno series. You'll also probably want some additional face protection when it gets cold. And a net gaiter or a balaclava is one of the best ways to get protection. Ergodyne is going to be our go-to for this kind of stuff, as they've got a whole line ranging from fleece net gaiters to full Sub-Zero type Mortal Kombat balaclavas. And that leads us up to the point in the year where the weather will finally start getting warmer. The trees began to bloom, the birds began to sing, seasonal depression leaves us with just regular depression, and we can finally start to shed those layers and enjoy the warmth. If you have any other questions, leave us a comment or give us a call or send us an email or write us a letter. Whatever you prefer, just get a hold of us and we'll help you out. If you're looking for even more content from us, subscribe to our channel or check out one of these videos here. Thank you for watching. Now get back to work. And a net gator or balak I can never say that Bala. word. Balaclava. 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 Just go with it.